Hello, Bumpy Mixquickums here, and once again, we have the weekly runs. That's right, the weekly runs is upon us, and we must shuffle off to what? Wow, well, no, I'm sorry. We're going to week 22, guys, of the weekly run series, and since no one voted, which makes me sad, and I'm going to weep openly on mic a little later, um, no one voted, I got to choose between Dungeon of the Endless, Dungeons of Dreadmore, and Quest of Dungeons. I chose Quest of Dungeons, simply because I've already done two of Dungeons of Dreadmore, so I figured it's fine, I'll back off that a little bit. Um, I know David Amador, the developer of this game, has been working diligently to fix all problems, all complaints, and try to make the game what everyone wants. And he's done somewhere between like 10 and 13 updates, something, somewhere around there. It's probably like 11 or something, but I don't know the exact number. Anyway, he's done a lot of updating, and he's trying to make the game what everyone would want. And he said he already had a really good foundation released it and it was received well but it seemed overall too easy so the updates have made it more challenging more difficult and well it was a fun game and I want to get back into it so that's it that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a quest of dungeons for week 22 of the weekly runs and speaking of not voting <clears throat> you guys cannot vote on these three for next week Delver Steam Marines and Hero Siege those are your choices so I'll have them in the description and I won't forget to put them in the comments, and this should actually air on the correct day. So, half my fault, half your guys' fault for not voting. I'll take most of the blame. It's fine. I'll take 50% of the blame, you know, the majority, the lion's share. I know it's not the lion's share. That's fine. Anyway, so we're going to get started. Alright, I don't care. Let's do it. I'm going to go with the warrior this time. The mighty warrior specialized in handling swords. He's very capable in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And we have hell as a new difficulty. So easy, normal, hard, and hell. I did it as... I think I did it as hard before. Yeah, I did. So we're going to go as hell, and we're going to get into it. In the, law, in the Lord, in the land of Viral, a powerful and evil lord stole all the light trapping inside a magical lantern. Darkness quickly spread. Or spread quickly and ruthlessly. I was going to say throughout the land. I don't know why. Four heroes joined forces. You should go alone. Huh? Good idea. How is that a good idea? Divide and conquer. You have a sword. You totally have a sword. I don't know why they keep changing their voices. Not sure about this. Where? We're still here. Yes. Okay, I guess I can go. Hey, a sword, Dad. Totally. There you go. They're obviously schizophrenic. They have multiple personalities. There's no way to really deal with those guys. That's why he left. It wasn't because they wanted him to go. It's because he didn't want to be around them any longer. Just keep that in your mind, guys. Keep it in your head. It's a dark night with just a gentle breeze in the air. You've finally reached the ruins of old Umpha Mansion. But who knows what secrets and horrors lie inside? And will you survive? Let's find out, shall we? Alright, so here we are. Back in the world of dungeon quest of thing quest of dungeons I, I i know what it's called man i know what it's called i know things i can read oh dear sweet merciful lord hopefully he doesn't know how to open doors yeah i don't really want to fight a boss at level one with no abilities items or any other sort of thing fantastic a new quest was added to my journal find a lamp by searching the northmost position excellent looks like you can even quit quest. Oh dear sweet lord, that's not good either. I poke you, I poke you two, I poke you three. Yeah, a lot of pokers going on, but we won the battle. And we've robbed all the monies from these people. So, the things that I read briefly about what's different in this difficulty level as opposed to the others. There's no guaranteed shop owner. Which is, yeah, I would say it's necessarily a problem. It's a problem. Which is bad, or difficult, I guess. So you can't use all your monies. Um, stuff is more expensive, and obviously the monsters are more difficult and or challenging. So those are all the things that make this more difficult. How do I... Oh. Aha, there we go. It has been a while, ladies and gentlefolk. Alright, it's Moy to the rat. Oh my, the rat almost killed me. It's not okay, it's not good. We're gonna gobble up one of these and possibly one of those. And then we're going to hit I once again. And we are going to battle the bat. I like how he's changed the cursor to when you're going into combat or if you click on something you will go into combat. Uh oh. 
to um, a sword and a shield, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yes, I do. What I also like a lot is not having zero health. So once again, we're going to have to gobble some more stuff. And this is already way more challenging. Though I will admit, probably going as a melee character, not the smartest of ideas to showcase the difficulty level change. Because I believe playing as the melee class is more difficult in general. So, oh boy. Alright. Yes, we do battle. And we do battle well. Alright, so that was a victory for us. A big win. I will take it. Do I want to trigger said trap? I do not. I want to disarm it like a boss. And I have. I have disarmed it like a boss. Alright, onward. We know where the boss is. And we are going to, I guess, do battle with the uh, Skeleton. And down he goes. We have defeated Sir Skeleton. Oh dear lord, there's some sort of weird magical, magical, creepy guy. Oh, he shot a fireball at me. And at this point... We're going to drink a potion, because fire's bad. So are things that kill us with fire. I think we're burning. Yes, we are on fire right now. This is not good. Oh, boy. The trap has been triggered. Oh, another trap has been triggered. Excellent. And we're dead. Well, that'll do it for uh, this week in the weekly runs, guys. No, it's not. I think I'm going to do the same difficulty, but I'll do it with a ranged character. I believe I went with... The archer last time. So we're going to go with the shaman. I haven't tried the shaman quite some time. So we'll start it up. But I will say that that was a lot more difficult. Alright, so we know the story. We know what's going on. And we're going to get moving. Alright. Well, that was way more difficult than I was anticipating. This guy doesn't seem to be a ranged character. Hmm. We have terror as an ability. Interesting. All right, well, we'll try to scamper through this relatively quickly. Hopefully without owning ourselves. Nope, walked right onto a trap. I did try the disarm, guys. It didn't work. Just in case you're wondering if I'm just completely crazy and totally lost my mind there. Nope. That is definitely, definitely not the case. All right. So, kind of unfortunate that I did die so quickly. I was looking forward to showcasing my amazing talents as a melee hero, but apparently... That was not in the cards. Oh, fantastic. And it looks like we're probably going to die again. I don't think we actually got caught on fire this time, so that's probably good. To... Alright, well, I think it's time for us to gobble down a potion. So yeah, things are not going super fantastic for us, gotta tell ya. But the, the trick with this game always was, if you get past the first two levels or two floors of the game, or lores if you prefer, uh, Metal Sword Venom requires sword handling. Can we equip it? I don't think we can. Hmm. That's kind of strange to me. It says requires sword handling. Which I don't think we have. Yes, here, I think drops. I don't remember that being an issue before. I don't remember there being class specific weapons. That's interesting. That's an interesting change, but maybe it's just something that I didn't look at. Maybe I never tried to equip a melee weapon. I don't know. Oh, great. Fireface is back. Oh, and we're on fire. We're dead again. Alright, so maybe a true ranged hero would be better. Mm, the wizard. Let's try the wizard. So, here we go. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Alright, so the wizard. We are here, and I'm not sure how much of a ranged hero he is, but... The odds are that he's at least semi-ranged. There we go. First combat is victorious. Alright, and fire on him twice. Yeah. 
problem being that we need to make sure we keep our mana supply up and ready. Alright, that worked out pretty good. Alright, let's do another couple of torchy torch. And down he goes. Alright. We are all well and good. We are well and good in this. Alright. So as you can see guys, the game is significantly more challenging, which is very cool because that was the, the biggest issue that you had in this game was it was too easy to beat, you could get through it in about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere like that. If you skipped over stuff, you can get through it in about an hour. If you kind of ran at it at full speed ahead, it would take you about probably an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in that range. So it's nice to see that he has increased the difficulty level quite a bit. Hopefully we survive long enough to see the end of this. I was expecting a little less death there involved with uh, the whole melee combat thing, but that didn't seem to work out for me. I got beat down pretty badly, so let's take a look at our inventory. Now what does this do? This potion will recover your mana over a certain time. A certain time, huh? It's highly nutritious. It's highly nutritious. Nutritious. I hate that word. I don't know why. Remember I'm on mic? I can't seem to say it. Ooh, we found a shopkeeper or a keeper already. Excellent. Sad we don't have much to sell him. Can we just right click to sell? Yes, we can. Alright, excellent. Alright, so things are already going better than our last couple of little uh, adventures into futility. He needs a light key and a square key. What? Alright. Throw a fireball up on him, make him combust into elements. And there we go. Some cash money. And some experience. We're nearly to the max well, max experience, so we're nearly to the next level, I guess. Would be the better way of saying it. And will this do it? It will, and we get full health and mana when we level up. Always a good choice. Always a good choice. Alright. Looks like we have a quest now. What does this do? Hey, it gave me armor. Oh, that was a buff. Well, now I'm sad. I'm very, very sad. Let's check our quest. Find a heart pendant. Try searching the center position of the floor. Need a light key. I have a present for you. Give me the present, please. I like gifts. I do not like rats. Rats are bad creatures. And dead creatures generally too when I'm around. What? Because I kill rats. I am the rat slayer. I could probably double as an exterminator if the, this whole dungeoneering thing doesn't work out. That's fine. And boom. Alright, so down he goes. Oh, it looks like we found the heart pendant. Probably. Alright, there's some money. And quest completed. And we got a big chunk of experience for that. Excellent. Downward, we're going to torch him once, and then we're going to torch him again, and victory is mine ish, mine ish, mine ish. Now yeah, we're gonna explore around, and oh boy, that doesn't look like a pleasant place to be. You killed my friends, I'm not done yet, buddy. I killed more than your friends. I killed you too, fool. Alright. Let's see. We actually lose defense for those. Well, that's unfortunate. Where's the ratty rat? There it is. Don't hurt me. We shall burn your face off. And then have charred rat burgers for dinner. A la Demolition Man? I believe so. Great movie, guys, if you've never seen it. Shame on you. It's one of the classic, I think it was 80, 80s movies. And, yeah, it's... Eh. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Demolition Man, Tango and Cash, both of them are fantastic movies. You should definitely check them out if you've never seen them before. You can see good old 80s uh, special effects and explosions and things. It's It's funny.
Enjoyable to be set. And if you're a Stallone fan, bonus. I don't know, it's hit or miss with Stallone for me. I like most of most of the stuff he does, but you know, some of it's just meh. Alright, we lose two agility, but we gain two mana. I think I'm okay with that trade-off. I found a secret stash. Ooh, secret stash had some food in it. Oh, that makes sense. You know, Dungeoneering does give you the munchies, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's see here. Take a fireball to him. Take a fireball to him. Maybe another one to this guy. We've leveled up, so we can shot another one! And as we level, I believe our abilities get stronger. So, we're already doing better, since the majority of how we fight with this guy is actually abilities. Oh no. Oh, I guess that wasn't so bad. That wasn't part of my plan. But, it's okay, I suppose it worked out all together for the good. Alright. That and that, and then we'll move down here. Need a square key. All sorts of keys are needed. It is unfortunate. Looks like there's a space up here that I did not quite clear. Oh, no, Skeleton that wants to battle me. Hello, Skeleton. Say goodbye. Let's not do that. Oh, there's a boss. Fantabulous. One, two. Three. Door. Yeah, we're not quite ready to kill that boss. Sadly enough. I know. I am a little heartbroken over that as well. I would very, very, very much enjoy murdering it. Like how he's added keys to the uh, wonderful... Oh, interesting. To the mini-map so you know what type of key that you need. It's a pretty cool feature. I like it. Alright, let's get rid of that, 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 that. Yeah, I suppose I can keep that. Alright, what do we need? What do we have? How much money? How much money? Where's the money? Oh, there it is. 2,000. Let's see. Cracked body armor gives me plus two on the defensive side of things. A better weapon seem to help too, too much. Um, what about a hat? We gain extra dexterity in gold, but we lose some defense. Hmm. The game was coded in C++. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. I think I'm going to buy this. That did what I thought it did. Yeah, okay. So mana over time. Oh, you also don't get health regen. And your mana regen is slower, I believe, are the two additional things in the hell difficulty level. So, I think we're going to head down. We're ready for the second part of the dungeon, guys. If this just goes poorly and I just get murdered again pretty soon, I think we're going to call it close to this. But, if I do manage to continue, well then I'll be pretty darn happy and... You guys will get a pretty good weekly run. But, I cannot promise anything. Oops. There we go. I cannot promise that I will be victorious in any way, shape, or form. But I can promise I'm going to go down to the next level. Which is loading. Wow. Really? Huh. Don't they usually have some sort of witty saying when you load? Oh, well, I don't know. Whatevs. Apparently there's a bird there that wants to hurt me a lot. It has the ability to do so. Wow. Well, that is definitely tankier than the last uh, creature that we battled. Gotta say, not super, super big fan of uh, how difficult that thing was to slaughter. It's like four or five casts just to kill it. Enough mana, and will we get enough mana? Mana. There we go. Boom! Victory is mine. Not really, but I did manage to kill the thing, and I'm still alive. So it's a it's a type of a victory. Oh gosh, 
type of victory, I suppose. Don't hurt me. I'm only little. You need to go deeper. All right. Well, let's go deeper then. I should be able to kill bird brain here. There we go. And have to chug some potion. And unfortunately, we don't have much in the way of mana supply anymore, which is not good. I should probably run around in circles for a little bit so I can regain my mana. A little lame, to be sure, but it works. It is relatively effective. And it's something that we can do. It's something that we can indeed, indubitably do. I don't think melee fighting anything right at this point is a very wise or, well, profitable deal. So we're going to try to avoid that at all costs. Hey, some money. Well, there we go. Onward. Ooh, there's some milk or some such nonsense there. Yep, that would kill me, definitely. Alright, well, not going that way. Well, I found two bosses now that I'm so terrified of that I won't even go into the same room as them. That's, oh dear sweet merciful lord, that's not good either. Alright, well. I'm to fire it up. There we go. We burned through the majority of our mana supply once again, and we have another bird brain coming after us. Alright, well, I guess we can only nuke him down. Combust! He didn't combust. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Tee hee. Yeah, this is, uh. I don't know. I don't know that I like this. Alright, well, we're gonna have the man fight it either way. There we go. Alright, so our, um. Guy is pretty weak. A little too weak to be here, I, I'm afraid. And there's nothing I can really do on level 1, so yeah, if you had to debate whether the difficulty level has been ramped up enough, I'd say maybe a little bit too much? I don't know. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, so we're in trouble now, because there's not much we can do beyond this point. Hmm. Welcome to Floor 3. Thank you. Hopefully there's nothing here going to swallow my soul. There's something right there that's going to swallow my soul. So we're going to leave Floor 3. Because Floor 3 is terrifying. We're going to try Floor 3 over here. Aha! And... Is a bit of money. And we are away from floor three. Alright, well, this is terrible. But the good news, and yes, there is a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of good news, is that I have regained some of my mana, which is always a good thing. Having the ability to actually fight back and kill things is, despite popular belief, a good and wise. Endeavor. Alright, so we're going to open that. And we're going to throw a fireball on him. Another fireball. Third fireball. A fourth fireball. And down he goes. And then we're going to be sad that we can't actually close that door. But we're going to be happy that we can actually close this door. And we are safe. Doors are the, the gateway to not dying, apparently, in this game. It's like eyes or windows to the soul. Doors are uh, safety, apparently. I guess none of the creatures in this game have opposable thumbs. I, I don't know. I've seen dogs open doors before, so I don't think opposable thumbs is technically necessary. But we'll see. Right now, we have to do the lamest thing in the history of mankind, and that is simply run in circles or squares, I suppose. Some polygonal shape. Some polygonal. That's the word I'm going to bring up, and that's the word I'm going to run with. I got to tell you guys, I am exhausted today. I don't know why. I'm so I'm so bloody tired. It's okay though. 
should be excited because there's a lot of stuff going on. Probably going to end up playing some Project Zomboid tonight and uh, some Tropical 5 as it just released today on Steam, so I'm excited about that. Can't wait to stop playing that. It's the first Tropico that actually has co-op, so good. Something I'm looking forward to. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to start cooking fools. And down he goes. Alright, so that worked out for us just slightly. Oh, is there more than one item there? Or is that blood? Must be tree blood. It's the worst kind of blood. Oh no, slime of any magnitude is not a good, good thing. Stop chasing me! Chicken chaser! Oh wow, that thing's tanky. I don't wanna die! Don't kill me! Please! I wanna live! Hmm. I'm seeing a trend here. Why couldn't it combust? Why can't I use combustible elements in my spellcasting? Why? This is really lame. I say the hell might be a little bit too difficult. I was thinking more along the lines if it was me that was going to make the small changes. I was going to make the difficulty level between levels a bit higher. So level one, I don't feel was out of control by any means. It was a little easy, but it's you know it's level one. You have to start somewhere. You have to get something, and you should have found a couple books and everything else. I haven't found a single spell book yet. First off, that's a, that's a problem. Secondly, well, <laughs> the creatures get so much more difficult in the second level that you didn't even come close to leveling up enough to actually fight them. So maybe they scaled it too much? I don't, I don't know. But I suppose you can't make everyone happy at every point. I'm just glad that he heeded the people and he decided that, yes, he was going to increase the difficulty level and try to do what everybody wants, and he's done his best to provide, so. That's always nice to see from a developer where they actually take into account what their, their peeps want. Alright, so we're gonna, ooh, we're gonna lay a couple of fireballs down on this fool. And he's gonna burn himself to death. Yeah, he is. And if we can somehow manage to murder him a lot, that would be good. Snake! Sorry. Every time I see that uh, exclamation point, I just think Metal Gear Solid. That just comes to me. I don't know why. No, I do know why, but that's just kind of weird. Just a little weird, I suppose. Nope. Come on, Bark Man. Alright, bring it on. See what you got, fool. Yeah, I'm gonna run you back and forth across the, uh, the traps because I can. Huh? Eh? And. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Level up! Alright, so there's two archer type folk in this room as well, which could prove to be, oh, nasty and problematic, to say the least. But they seem to be doing that much damage, I gotta say. I'm not overwhelmingly impressed with their lack of damage. Of course, they started to do a little bit more there at the end, but still. Alright, let's torch him. And one more be able to melee him down. Yeah, so that took a tremendous amount of my health. Oh boy, now we have a bird coming. Bird! Get away from me, birdie! Alright, so the bird's dead. We're alive. Things are not looking great. Things are worse. We, we've come back from worse than this. Our mana supply is low, but our magic supply is... Oh, oh poo. Poo balls, as I would say. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do, guys, is get a little bit further in and then break off this episode and then continue in episode 2 
I already have failed twice, and this one's looking... Oh my gosh, we got a spellbook. Holy cow. What is going on? And we disarmed a trap. What? Things are looking pretty nice. So let's see what the spellbook is and gather up all the goodies. The spellbook is regen, which sounds fantabulous. What does regen do? Let's look, shall we? Regen. Recover HP over time. Well, I hope I get a, a mana thing that, like, like emo cut or something where I cut myself and I, I use my life force to give myself mana. Because then I could emo, or I could start regening, and then I could emo cut, and I would say that victory would be mine at that point, but yeah, never know. You just never, ever know. Alright, let's finish him off. Down he goes, get up the goodies here. So we're getting a little bit more powerful. I'd say one more level, we could probably go back to level 1, maybe try challenging the boss, but that still seems a bit risky. A little bit of risky business going. I see you. I too see me. Hey, we got a key and an egg. It is an egg with uh, HP value to recover. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to melee up some peeps if I can. Oh, I found a secret stash. Excellent. Oh, uh... Can I do enough damage with my stick of justice? Apparently I can, my hidden stick. As uh, Dustin Elysian Tail has uh, dubbed it, my hidden stick. Run away! Run away! Alright. And beat down, go! Alright. Is that a shield? That is a shield. Let's equip that and get our defense up higher. Oh! Oh, there's a slime. Did not see the slime. That sucks. Alright. Well, looks like we're going to have to chug a potion of both. But sadly, these things actually hurt. And as much as I wish that wasn't the case, it is, and that was painful and unsatisfying. We're a little bit past the halfway to level point. I think I may try to actually level before the end of this. We'll see though. We will have to see how it all plays out. Alright, I have done that. Let's drink the water. Shoot some more fireballies up in his face. Alright, we have done that as well. I have found a key. The little chicken leg. So there's a birdie up in here. Hello, buddy. Hello. So if we can bust them, we can just run away at that point. Not need to continually spam spells of death and pain. And the bookshelf bookcase was empty. Waka waka waka, really? That's what you're bringing to the table? Alright. Let's waka 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 this way. Is this a mana thing? That's HP. And we get alcohol and intoxication. I recall these things. Alright, so over here to this little pot. Potted plant. I shall grab that up. Oh, there's a bird. I don't like that. I don't like me none of them there birdies. No, I do not. We're going to keep going until we have at least two fireballs to launch, and there we have it. One, two, and smack, and smack, and smack, and smack, and we are victorious once again. Seems that we will be chugging Zevier. And there's not much left, and we still have to come that close to leveling at this point, so... Yeah, things are not looking super fantastically great. I mean, we might have to do some running around a little bit more to get more... Oh, I don't know. What's the... Ooh, we found a shopkeeper. Maybe we're going to be okay then. Maybe we're going to be okay. Alright, well, we can sell this, 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 and this. 
And, man, they weren't kidding. All these things are way more expensive than they used to be. Alright. Sadly, we're going to have to just buy out all their food stocks. And hopefully we can get at least one of their mana potions. There we go. We'll buy the milk. Do I need anything else? I need everything else, but I don't have the money for it. Alright, well thank you. No, it's the ugly tree creature of Tutankhamun. Oh no! So leave me alone! Alright, that's not funny. Time to do battle once again. That's right, I was never afraid. I knew I'd survive that. Almost died. Alright, well, I was hoping to be able to just level up relatively quickly and then, oh gosh, be on my way, but it's obviously not in the cards. Quick, look behind you! Quit chasing me! Quit chasing me! Why are you running? Why are you chasing me? Alright. Well, that's enough chasing. We got the double, double fireball, and we're gonna kill him up. Yeah, there he is. He's dead. Looks like we're getting pretty close to leveling again. Not quite there just yet. Good, there's nothing here to eat my soul. Oh, there's something here to eat my soul now. Two somethings. I saw the other one. We'll come back to get our soul eaten a little bit later. Here, you can have this. I will allow it. We'll say, for equipment purposes, we are not getting that much out of it. It is kind of sad, really. Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. Let's kill the bird. Bird fireball one. Bird fireball two. And stabby stabby poke poke. Victory is ours. Alright. Well, at least this is going slightly better than the last uh, couple attempts. Alright. Well, let's get rid of this guy. And in fact, that should level us up. No, it did not. Oh, it goes all the way to the end. Okay, I didn't know it went above the map. I thought it ran into the map. Well, darn. That does make things slightly more difficult. A bit more challenging, but not the end of the world. Oh, I don't like these things. Alright, let's do some firing of this guy. Pretend we're putting him in a kiln. We're firing him up. Alright. Oh, look, an archer. The other side of the door! You are not getting out alive. Probably not, but you're not going to be the one that kills me. Surprise! I'm still not... I'm still not good. Ooh, 60 mana. I like it. I just ate a fish. I don't know if that was necessarily a great idea or not. Oh gosh, the trap was triggered. Alright. Let's torch him a little bit more. Yeah, look at that leveling up. What? Lack of bows. I see you now. I see you as well. It's crazy how that works. Just open our eyes and we start seeing each other. I mean, what's next? What is next? It's the exact same shield. Don't need it to be swapped. And I guess that's going to do it for now, guys. I'll continue to explore this level as much as I can. Obviously going lower seems like a dangerous idea. Then we'll head back and deal with the boss on the first level in the very next episode. Until then, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.